Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean and this is our free weekly video report for Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. Um, so I'm going to do tonight's video a little bit different because the market has been pretty boring and uh, we know the dates that have been coming out. So I want to go over, you know, what's taking place right now. So the bigger picture is there's a golden halo that that Woody's looking for, uh, and, and it's going to be a sharp drop. It's probably going to catch a lot of people by surprise, and it actually lines up with uh, with a pattern that's in play. And really, the only thing that you need to know, I'm not going to get too deep into the Elliott Wave stuff, is that once this five completes, there's going to be a four that's going to come down, and, and we don't really know exactly where the price is going to go to um and and something i've mentioned to the premium premium members is that the uh you know typically what previous wave fours go, uh, wave fours go down to the previous wave four so that we leave the door open that the, the drop could come all the way down to the 1802 now what's more likely is we have the 220 uh, uh what did we have the, the two two four one and then we have the 2025 area. So those are our support areas that you'd look at. And from where we are, uh, we really haven't seen that that big of a drop in, in a long time. So it, that, that will be a little bit of a shocker on its own. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We still have to wait for this to this pattern to complete. Now, how is it going to complete? This is where we are right now on a shorter term. So that was a weekly chart. This is a daily. And what we're looking at is this, is that we're looking for this this pattern to complete this five, and then we're expecting a wave four. So like I said, typical wave fours go to the previous wave four. So this door is open. Uh, first target that you want to look at would be right around that 2366. And then if it gets below that, you may look to close some of the gaps. But the next move is this, and then it's going to be in probably another buying opportunity that shoots up and makes a wave five and that will complete this here and that will set up the the larger move to the downside so we know that this move is coming later on uh it, it's it's been uh what he's said it plenty of times that he's you know he knows when this is going to be coming he wants to see some things unfold before he starts putting the dates out but it's nothing that's going to be happening right now so we have, we're on hold on this but what is now is we're coming within a time period that we are uh, that what he's been looking for uh for a top uh we he has those dates that are out there and uh it's lining up with the pattern that's in play right now so the the question is did we complete that you know the the final uh wave pattern up possibly uh it would make sense and it would fit the timing profile um if it doesn't that's fine we we know that the upside should be limited just because of uh a the internals b the uh the time period that what he's been looking for and also the wave pattern that's in place so um right now uh, what i've been telling people is that you can be uh you know you can you can dabble on the short side i don't think i wouldn't get, really get all that aggressive because i think that the move that we're we're looking for uh, in the you know the coming days uh, or so, uh, it's probably going to be pretty quick, uh, but it's also going to be gobbled up, and it's probably going to be a great buying opportunity. So it's going to be very whipsaw, but it could be it, it could throw volatility up some just because we really haven't seen those types of big moves before uh, in in a while. So this is what we're looking for there now. 60 minute chart we have the bearish divergences so again it's telling us that we're probably in the final stages of this move and again we know the two dates that we're looking for to expect this to 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 top out and then from there get a drop and, and one of the things another piece of uh you know not trying to get uh very elliott wave on you or you know this pattern but typically these uh you know these wave fours down is they uh they they will they will retrace anywhere from uh 23 down to uh all, all the way down to uh I'm sorry 23 or 38 percent of the retracement so if it just goes to the 23 percent retracement that's pretty close to where we were on the previous lows so this this kind of gives a little more uh meaning to to the number in the previous wave four and what you have to look for but again it's not that's not really the big trade right now that it would just be something quick 
There is no pound the table you have to get short uh, right now, but if it dropped tomorrow, it would make perfect sense. So, uh, you know, that that's a target that, that may come back into play again, and there's not a lot of people that are anticipating that. So we have the bearish divergences. Now, I'm going to go over uh, the some internals and show you why that makes sense as well. Okay, so this is the VIX. Uh, and you can see it's been pinned down to these lower levels here. So what it means, it doesn't mean that the S&P can't go higher, but you just, if you notice when it's been at these levels, it's just been choppy. And that's pretty much, this This looks like a fractal pattern right here. And if you notice, the next one came pretty close down to these previous lows before heading higher on it. So we're, we're in areas where I wouldn't expect an extended rally like this. They usually take place when volatility pops higher. So that's one of my reasons. Reasons why I kind of like everything, uh, you know, looking for some type of short term top. Another one, the VIX, VXX and put call ratio. Uh, these are at very, very low levels right now. And again, it's showing complacency, but also uh, that there's not a whole lot of protection in this market. And finally, what I'm going to go over is this uh, the summation index, and it's giving us a bearish divergence. Uh, and again, when we we've had those, we we've you know had some pretty good drops. But again, we're, this isn't the, like the kill zone or the the, the golden halo drop. This is going to be where, where we start making that rounded top. So we could see support hold and then come back up again. And as it does, it starts to form that top. Everybody gets complacent again, and from there. That's when we get that, uh, you know, that that golden halo move to the downside that nobody's really going to be anticipating. So back to our normal charts. If they decide to head higher tomorrow, keep an eye on that 2401. There's a pivot at 2402 and then finally 2403. If they start breaking through that, which there is an option, 2408 is the is a pivot and then up at the 2413. So right now we are, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of in this this no, man, no man's land, but the, it's not a time to really just be buying and forgetting about things. Uh, there's the internals are, are giving us some warning signs. We have some technical timing dates that are that are approaching right now. And wave patterns that are saying that, you know, we, we could start to see some choppy tape. So with that, have a great night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.